Hi there, it's Phil here and today I just want to talk to you about making keynote animation movies for your graphics. I think it's still valid to do. There are lots of great things within Keynote that can make your animations and graphics still stand out from the rest. So here today I'm going to make sure that you know how to save those in the best possible format. This has changed, uh, so keep on watching. The other thing is that at the end of the video, I will be endeavoring to show you uh, a way that you can download the templates that I've created. So keep an eye out for that. So let's move on without further ado to the next slide. So what we'll be doing just to cover this is Keynote Movie Animations. Let's jump straight in and look at the Keynote screen. Uh, if I go up to the top here, we've got Keynote. If you go File and then New, it will open up a window for you. But what I want you to do then is go to this New Document. If you click on New Document, what happens is that Keynote will then open up a theme chooser. It will show you your recent ones. These black ones along the top are all special um, themes that I've created that are immediately transparent and immediately have the right dimensions for you to be able to create a range of different keynote animations so you just choose the right size for the animation that you want to create what i'm going to do is choose a 400 by 300 pixel animation i'll double click that when it first opens up, it opens up quite large. You can see up here the uh, the percentage of increase. So if I just say 100%, you'll see it makes it a lot smaller. If you look at then the format button just here, then it will open up and it shows you that you've got a blank single slide. If I go to uh, add slides, you've only got one more that you can add. You don't have a whole host of slides. You can make as many as you like here. But they're all going to start that look like black, but they're actually transparent because we can see here it says the background has no fill. This will be the case if you use my templates that I'll make available to you. Anyway, what we want to do uh, as a demonstration, I'm going to drag in an image of my own. And that's one of the great things that you can do in Keynote is use an image of your own. Of course, you've got the shapes icon just here so if I click on it you can make any graphical change anything you like using the shape so if you want to use one of these if it's black just click on one of the colors and you'll see the shape then over the top of the black background this is one of the things that Keynote does it just makes the transparent background look black and then you can use those shapes if I go for another shape you can see there's lots of different types of shapes that you can use throughout your animation. So you can do all sorts of things. As I say, click a color so that you can then see the shape that you've bring, brought in. And then the rest of the animation functionalities is open to you. I'm not really gonna go into that too much. Anyway, we're not gonna use those. So I'll just highlight them and delete them. I'm gonna drag in a picture of my own, uh, which is my buy me a coffee. So I'm dra dragging that in from the side. And, and you can see that it's way, way too big for my 400 by 300 sized image. But I can drag this down. And if I just get it all the way, give me a second to get it to fit. That kind of fits quite nicely. I'll just go a bit bigger. I'll just get it edge to edge. And one thing you'll notice is that I've got a, a lot of black area, top and bottom, but don't let that worry you. What we'll now do very quickly is click on animate. I'm going to build it in with an effect. So maybe what we can do is make it uh, fade and scale. And if I hit the preview button, let's just see how that looks. So it kind of comes up like that. That's quite nice. One more time to show you. I like quite like that. Uh, if you turn the shine off, then it comes in quite flat. So we'll just leave it as it is. What you then do is go to file, export movie. And this movie section, because I've saved the template, allows you to simply open this up and all of the settings are already set there for you. The first thing I want to show you is the resolution, which we set at 400 by 300. 
but this is a situation where the ratio is still recognized. So if I type in 800, for instance, then you can guess that the other box, once you click into it, would become 600 because that's the four by three ratio that we were um, working with earlier. So you can quite easily change the size after the fact. Also, after the fact, you can see that all of the settings are already preset for you, so you don't have to change anything um, to save the movie file. The one thing you do have to look at is if you've added additional slides to the left hand side, so you've got more than one slide, then you will have to change the from to be slide, you know, two of two or three to three to make it just capture the one slide you've made. Anyway, we'll leave that there. We'll leave the frame rate where I have it at 30 frames per second. That's up to you. You can choose a different frame rate if you like. But here's the interesting one is that we're now going to use HEVC. Previously, we've been using the Apple ProRes 4444 to keep the transparency, but None of the others work with transparency at all, but HEVC is a new one that does. So let's click and save the HEVC file. So we click on next. We then name the movie that we want to call it, whatever we want to call it. And I'll call this HEVC just to show the difference because we'll save the other one as well. So I'll click on export now and Keynote will save the movie for us. It only takes a few seconds to do that. And I'll show you the difference in file size between that and the 444 version. So we go export again, go to movie. All of the settings are the same. We'll just move down to the Apple ProRes 4444 and click next. And then we'll name that one. And I'll just change the HEVC to the 4444 number so that we know the difference between the two. And once I've done that, click export and create the movie. And now we've got two different movies. So I'll just now bring in the other screen where I've just saved the two files. The 4444 movie is six and a half megabytes. Whereas the HEVC file is only 202 kilobytes, a much lighter file. So this would be the one to use if you're trying to minimize all of the resources being used by your computer for live streaming. So what we'll do now is go into Ecamm Live's demo mode to show you how we actually use those files that we've created. So now we're in demo mode. And I've got the files open in a folder. OK, so let's pick the HEVC file first. Anyway, what we don't want to do is drag in the HEVC file into the main window. This would make the movie play full screen. So that's not what we want. We want it to be a small little graphic. So instead, drag it into the overlays area and simply let go there. And then you get the warning at the top that says uh, play full screen with audio, which is not the right thing to do. We've not got audio and it's not going to be playing full, full screen. We're going to add it as an animated overlay. So click on the animated overlay button. And then we see it arrive straight away in the screen. And that's our HEVC file arriving in. Let's do the same to show you the difference when we drag in a 444 file. Again, we are only dropping it into the overlays area and you can see it comes up much bigger than the original HEVC file. I think that the 444 files probably come in at the proper resolution, whereas the uh, the uh, HEVC ones don't. Anyway both of them, you can simply resize to your heart's content, certainly up to the biggest size that you've made them. So you, you can see on the screen whether they start to break up and they get too big. Here I've got them more or less both exactly the right size or the same size, so you could just see what they look like. So I'm switching from one scene 
to the next scene, which will then invoke both of those to come in. And you can see that they're both exactly the same. But one's a six megabyte file and the other one is a 202 kilobyte file. So HEVC certainly wins here in computer resources. So I've turned off the 444 file. Now, one of the things that you can do in the latest version of Ecamm, which is 3.9 and later, is you can go to the edges of the graphic and hold down the Alt button and click and drag. So the previous areas that were black, you can actually, or are now actually transparent, of course, you can bring those in. So it makes the graphic much tighter and much easier to move around and manipulate, especially if you've got other graphics on the screen as well. So this graphic now won't get in the way and cover up other graphics whilst I'm trying to move them. I've now just copied that graphic to another scene. This is how it would look. Go and try out Ecamm Live by following the link in the description just there. I'll also put it at the bottom of the video. So um, by all means, please use that if you want to try Ecamm Live. Just as a recap, then I am going to put on the buy me a coffee link all of the templates that I've made for Keynote. You can simply load them onto your system by double clicking and they'll all be there in a variety of formats. And it will mean that you don't need to set anything else up because the transparency is already there. The size is already there. You simply export it to an HEVC file which is now, I think, the replacement to the old Apple ProRes 444 series of file formats. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to being of help to you soon. So thanks for joining me.